Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Clear Hue. If you are new here, namaste. My name is Dr. Rakshita and this channel is all about skincare, wellness and makeup. So if any of these interest you, don't forget to subscribe. You must have noticed that the video I'm filming, it's in a new setup uh, than usual. If you are a returning subscriber, you'd notice that it's not my usual filming setup. It's because I'm not in the place where I usually film. I've been out of station for about a month for some work. And because of that reason, I haven't been able to film a lot either. Now here, uh, I don't even have my filming setup. So I'm literally filming this video on my phone. And I'm hoping for the video quality to be good and everything. But yeah, this one time... Uh, I had to make do with what I have so I'm out here filming in an open balcony with some background with like completely natural light so yeah today's video is going to be about Bioderma India I have a few products from Bioderma that I would like to review now in all honesty these products were gifted to me I didn't buy them but this uh, video is not sponsored so all my views are as it is unbiased I mean even if it was sponsored you know my views would be unbiased I'm a doctor I have a duty but the thing is um, since I know some of you like don't like sponsored content this is to clarify that this particular video is not sponsored it's just the products are gifted to me and that does not change my viewpoint towards any of these products now guys the first product i want to talk about is this one it's their sensi bio defensive rich um, cream now this is their newest launch i think they've just launched this in india uh, about like a month or so ago and i got my hands on it now I'm so sorry now the thing is the packaging is pretty destroyed but yeah i've been using it also so i just kept the outer packaging to show you i've practically like destroyed it <laughs> but yeah so this is how the cream is i'm gonna insert a clip of you know the texture shot and something like that of this cream but uh before that let's just get into the ingredients and what views i have uh, of this cream all right so i did i'm like i'm gonna read out the ingredients from here and i didn't make like a good and like like notes about the ingredients so if i'm looking down please don't mind and i'm also reading like from this so yeah that <laughs> so the first ingredient is of course water it's a water-based moisturizer then there's glycerin glycerin is my preferred humectant over hyaluronic acid i just like this a lot more i don't know why i just prefer it better i feel like it does better for my skin it's a better humectant for my skin so i like glycerin it's the second ingredient it's a humectant holds water provides you hydration then um, in terms of good ingredients in here um, first of all the thing is the cream is fragrance free i, I want to clear that if any one of you has a fragrance allergy or has you know a current inflammatory condition going on this would be a very good cream for you i personally don't mind fragrance in my skincare but i completely believe that if you're allergic obviously you shouldn't use it and as per me if you have an inflammatory condition an active inflammatory condition as a doctor what i know is you shouldn't be using fragrance it can be irritant but if you have neither of these conditions i don't think it should be you know um an issue in a product it does provide like a good feel to the product which i think is important in term of skincare but yeah this one is completely fragrance free so if you are somebody who just prefers fragrance free products or can't use fragrance this is going to be good for you now it does have a uh, glycol palmitate which is basically an emollient then uh, up next in here is butylene glycol which is a humectant just like glycerin um there is cetyl palmitate again very very moisturizing there's tridecyl um trimelitate i've written this down it's basically an emollient again very very hydrating then we have carnosine carnosine uh it's like somewhere in the middle of the ingredients list now i really like carnosine it's basically like an antioxidant it's excellent and if it's in your skincare i really would prefer this it's great then we do have some squalane in here too squalane again very moisturizing it's it's a natural oil which is present in the sebum uh, that your skin produces so for dry skin types squalane is an excellent you know skincare product an excellent option for moisturization even for skin types like mine i have extremely oily acne prone skin type even for skin types like mine in extreme winter i personally apply squalane right over my moisturizer and seal everything it in uh, with squalane and i believe in winters it makes my skin really glow and be really soft and nice and moisturized then we do have uh, an another anti antioxidant it's the salvia meteoriza flower extract <laughs> 
uh, I don't know how to pronounce it like correctly absolutely but this is how I think it's pronounced if I'm wrong I apologize there is sucrose steriate in here as well which is basically like a, another hydration um, factor then there's tocopherol which is vitamin E extremely good then there are a lot of more fatty alcohols uh, yeah so I don't see any objectionable ingredients as such in here and I've told you all the good ones so that was about the ingredient list of the cream now let's talk about the actual cream and how my experience was with it now i really like this moisturizer i use retinol on my skin and my skin can get really dry and sometimes really irritated and since i make videos about skincare i do try a lot of skincare and i think i put my skin through a lot in that process i make my skin be inflamed sometimes some products don't react to me sometimes i use a very strong acid that just you know like disrupts my skin barrier even though i'm very careful with my skincare since i experiment so much it could still you know it causes a lot of damage so my skin barrier can be really compromised and i feel like this really helps with it it's a very it's a rich cream that doesn't feel heavy that's how i would like to describe this even as a uh, oily skin type person this as an evening cream over my retinol especially has been great for me there are days when I dermaplane my skin or basically shave my face and even on those days I apply this right after. I feel like it really soothes down and moisturizes my skin and I find it to be perfect even for those days. So this is amazing. If you have dry skin, this would be an amazing moisturizer for the daytime, for the nighttime. But since this particular cream has so many good like, you know, um, good fats and there's, um, you know, hydrators, a lot of emollients, this is going to be a great cream uh, for barrier building, basically. In my opinion, I believe this would be excellent if you have damaged skin barrier and you need something to moisturize your barrier to you know help you rebuild it and be fragrance free also this seems like a very very good option to me and again you could use this as a normal moisturizer too it's amazing even for oilier skin types this could be a staple moisturizer during the colder months when there's you know like really dry weathers this would be great so i 10 on 10 recommend this it is extremely good and Again, I'm being completely honest. If I don't like something, I'll let you know. But this is great. So I love this. It's their newest launch. I recommend this. So I think you should try it out. And if you want like a good barrier repair moisturizer, this would do the job for you. Okay, so another product that I have from them that they sent to me was their toner. It's their Sensi Bio Tonic. Okay, so this is basically like a decent very basic toner which you could if, if you're new to toners if you want like a really basic toner that does the job this is extremely good i feel like this is really slept on there are so many toners that have the hype in the market but this one i feel is really slept on not just this even the simple skincare one i feel like is really underrated and even that's very nice and a very affordable one too now coming back to this one i'll talk about the ingredients so basically this again is a water-based um toner the first ingredient is water we have glycerin again second ingredient humectant we have xylitol which basically is again a very good hydrating ingredient we have mannitol we have ramnos ramnos again a humectant we have some sugars here too uh fructo oligosaccharides now with sugar sugars are very hydrating i like when a skincare product or a component has good amounts of sugars in it sugars topically in a formulation can be really really hydrating and nice to your skin there's cucumber fruit extract next cucumber uh, fruit extract we know is very calming and soothing on your skin if you have active inflammation sunburn or something like that aloe vera and cucumber extract these are kind of like my preferred ingredients so i really like cucumber in here there's hydrogenated castor oil moisturizing we have allantoin hydrating calming it's a very small ingredients list again fragrance free again if you're looking for a fragrance free toner which is again like a basic good toner this does the job uh, i don't think toners are necessary exactly but yeah if you're somebody who really wants to try toners i personally use toners i like to re-wet my face with toners but would i say that absolute must have in your um skincare routine no but this is good if you really want to try out toners if you're starting out with toners if you want a basic toner that does the job for you this is a good one and i recommend this
Okay, so another product they sent me is their iconic um, Sensi Bio H2O Micellar Water. I think, I think, I'm not sure, but I think Bioderma was the first company to come up with the concept of um, Micellar Water. Uh, I know for a fact this is a French company and Micellar Water was originated in France and I think this was the first company to come up with it. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But yeah, so this is, I don't even need to discuss about it much i don't even need to talk about this this is a cult favorite product everybody likes it it's a very i know it's it's a little higher up in price but when it comes to micellar waters this is like a fail proof formula you can't question its performance it will perform it will clean your face as a double cleansing ingredient this is great even on occasions when you know i mean i would never ask you to leave a micellar water on your face and not wash it off with a face wash always always do that but there are times when you've partied really hard you're just feeling very lazy i would suggest you keep something like this on your bedside keep some cotton pads cotton rolls and you know you just wipe your face off at least at least do that much if you don't have the energy to wash your face so you know this is very good for that so i don't have to say much a cult favorite for a reason again a very good micellar water and i recommend this okay so i have two more products to talk about which they sent me i'm basically reviewing everything they sent me so yeah so i'm gonna give you since i have all these products i'll talk about all of them so yeah uh, the next one is their pigmento bio foaming cream now this but this is this is basically a face wash now uh, when i looked at the ingredients list i saw citric acid being the second ingredient which is basically an, a ph balancer i was really confused about it I think it's in such high quantities because, you know, they've they've tried to balance the pH, which might have turned really basic, I guess, uh, with the ingredients. But yeah, but yeah, that what makes up for this is that the third ingredient is Shia oil itself. So it's very moisturizing and nice. It has really mild surfactants, like not exactly very, like the mildest, like, you know, but it, it doesn't have harsh surfactants. It has magnesium lauryl sulfate. I, I don't hate sulfates. I believe, you know, it mm. depends on the formulation. A lot of people are, you know, so anti-sulfates. I'm not. I've never in a medical textbook read anything against sulfates. I've never read a strong research against sulfates. I believe it's all the fear mongering. So I don't mind sulfates in my skincare product. Again, if you are somebody, I would like to educate you a little. But if it's just not comfortable, I, I totally understand. I respect you for it and you don't have to use. But yeah, sulfates, I don't mind. It does have sulfates. I, the thing is, most surfactants are actually sulfates. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's completely, like, I don't know. I, I don't think it's very possible to make a successful, good performing face wash with no sulfates. I, I, I don't know. So when a company claims their products or their cleansers to be completely sulfate free, I believe they're using some alternative of sulfate, which has, you know, like some form of sulfate in it. I don't know. I, I, I just don't like the fear mongering around sulfates and I'm comfortable using them and I would suggest them to you too. So it has sulfates as well in here. I do see fragrance at the end of the ingredient list. The other products I showed you didn't have fragrance. This one does. So yeah, if you are somebody who doesn't like fragrance, like I said, or has an inflammatory condition, this is not for you. Even though the fragrance is extremely, extremely mild, you can like barely, barely, barely sense it. But yeah, if you're somebody who doesn't like it, why, uh, you know, if, if you don't like fragrance, this is not for you. It does have uh, ingredients like caprylic, triglyceride, sunflower seed oil. And a lot of you know humectants and emollients too in here along with a lot of cleaners so this overall becomes like a pretty good non-stripping face wash now the quality of this one is that it's grainy it's like a physical exfoliant but a very mild gentle one it's not like your walnut or apricot shell scrubs it's not like that it's like um, the texture is very close to um what's that company yes um my battery died down so i was very rudely interrupted in the middle of me talking but yeah i don't remember the come i think it uh, the texture of this particular product is very similar to the daily microfoliate by dermalogica i guess i don't remember the company i'll insert picture so the texture is very very similar to that very grainy but very mildly grainy it's not abrasive on your skin i would not recommend using this every day still though i would recommend this face wash on days when you feel like you want to physically exfoliate your skin without being you know too abrasive 
abrasive on it or being too harsh on it i think this would be great for that purpose you can also use it on your body so i really like that so yeah i would recommend this but not for everyday use i would recommend this for times when you really want to you know like have the feeling of physical exfoliation and you want something gentle and non abrasive that's when i think this comes into play and for something like that this is perfect now they did send me another product it was their um purifying cleansing bar i believe it's for your face because it's for combination oily skin but the thing is i'll be honest i didn't I, i didn't use it yet i didn't use it at all i won't use a soap on my face anyway i don't believe in using a soap for my face i might use this on my body even though i haven't like taken a shower with a soap in a long long time i use body washes uh but yeah i'll try this out uh, but until i haven't i can't really give a good review on this so yeah that's about it i will update you about this particular product if you are interested in knowing what it does and everything um once i use this that's when i'll be able to tell you everything about this but when i haven't used it i don't think i can give a review on it so yeah this is the last product i had so this was So these were basically all the products I had from Bioderma and I was going to review in today's video. So you got a good idea of all the products that I had um and I've discussed the ingredients and everything. I've shared which ones I recommend, which ones I don't. So I really hope this video is helpful for you. So guys, this was it for today's video. If you liked today's video, don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Till then, please take care. Bye-bye.